who lives in a pineapple in Israel. Racist and arrogant Zionist is he? SpongeBob SquarePants. Are you ready, Joe Biden? Joe Biden, that deal is not enough. Joe Biden is disrespectful of you. You are tone deaf and insensitive. What do you mean, uh, a pause? Joe Biden, you have not only lost your Arab votes, you have lost all votes. If you win and you keeping up this attitude, Joe, if you win, then Trump was right. There is election fraud. It's impossible for you to win. You hear cracking dances. Listen, let's get something understood. I know Israel and how they move. For years I know them. <laughs> okay, Palestine's not the only victim. They whacked our king, King Faisal. Look it up. And I was getting upset and telling people to stop using the T word if you're not going to use it accurately. But it seems that you're only a terrorist if you got a skin color like mine. You commit a terror act and you're white, you, it's okay, it's not terrorism. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not even talking about what, what they just did this past month. I'm talking about their history. They actually bombed the offices of the Palestinian government abroad in some civilized countries. Let's establish the truth because I'm tired of the, this, the, these bots and stupidity. It's driving me, giving me a headache. First of all, October 7th, everything about it was a lie. 1,500 turns out to be close to 600, if not less. They said they killed innocent civilians. Before I tell you about that, the beheaded babies, they're so uncivilized and barbaric, they beheaded babies, turned out to be a whopping lie. Zero babies touched by Hamas. Zero. When you see them over there doing all this genocide, and you tell yourself, it's okay, they beheaded babies, they didn't. It was a lie by David Ben-Zion, told to the reporter who spread it. Zero babies. So what sin did those babies that you actually killed, did they commit? If you're charged with something, don't just be judge, jury, executioner. Who are you, God? Chill. Chill. You filthy racist bits. The crime these people committed is being born Palestinian. Don't use that stupid human shield shit with me. If you kill the, the, a terrorist with a human shield, you should have the terrorist and the human shield. We have a lot of people who are labeled shields, but we don't have the shielded by. What is this, God of War? Hercules? Shields? They said they killed innocent civilians. It turned out to be a fat lie. I have, I'm able to understand, I speak Arabic. I grew up in the Middle East. So I'm very familiar with the culture and accents and, 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 and everything. Like I'm not just A, B, C, D, the alphabet. I can understand in depth. And I usually have, like to look at the videos produced by these guys. Because Hamas makes videos. You just never see them. And they drop statements every two days. The guy wrap his face around. The CIA and the Mossad, they know about him, the intelligence. They, they keep up. Okay, but you just get to hear what they tell you. I listen to what he says. I look at the videos they publish. They publish not, not some shit filmed from far away. They have GoPros, bro. A GoPro. Based on what I can see with my own eyes and evidence and facts, what seems to be provable facts is that Hamas 
only aimed and, 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 and whacked at soldiers and policemen. The IDF, a.k.a. IOF, defense more like occupation. So they shot soldiers. They shot policemen. That's how war works. Soldier to soldier. But you know that festival you kept hearing about? Because the babies was a lie. The festival you heard about. This is today, breaking news, November 9th. Turns out that the Israeli cowards, they're pussy. They don't know how to fight soldier to soldier. They're pussy. So they do what they just did during this whole genocide. They go hop in a plane. And Hamas, like, let's be logical here. Drop the terms of terrorism and all that shit. Drop it. Think with logic. These are people trying to get hostages to be able to negotiate for a their land and other stuff. So killing hostages is not in their best interest. They want they kept them safe. I seen the videos of how they treat them. They treat them like the Ritz Carlton. The last video that's heavily censored by the Israeli people, I would show it, but people be, they've been getting deleted. Look it up. The lady was chilling so comfortable, like she had her own house. She looked like she eating good drink. She looked more comfortable than me. <sighs> the facts are the facts. The hostages came out and said they treated her well, but CNN apparently twisted that upside down for some reason. The media is working for the for the filth. Hear me out. The fact is fact. They aimed and, and, and shot soldiers. But here come the Israeli trying to kill the terrorist from a plane. The footage came out today. It shows the Israeli plane uh, trying to whack the, the terrorist. And in the process of attempting to whack the terrorist, they whack their own citizens. It seems that they don't have an aim. I wonder how you pee when you go pee. You probably just... You don't even aim right. Can't even pee straight. So you killed your own citizens in the festival and then blamed that on Hamas. You said the babies, blamed that on Hamas. Then went on to kill a million babies over here and still going, refusing to stop. But they depended. Turned out to be a lie. You said 1,500, it was close to 600, mostly soldiers. The civilians that did die, you killed them and blamed it on them. So let's stop playing stupid. This pause won't work. This, this, this humanitarian pause is, 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 is a humanitarian disrespect. How about we seize it? How about if you want your hostages, negotiate. You have more hostages than them before October 7th. And the world did not start on October 7th. Because this, this makes me angry. You said part terrorists. Shut the fuck up. There would be no Hamas if it wasn't for Israel. People would live in happy. They let you into their own homes. Because of Arabian hospitality. When they came from Poland... You know, and Germany, Jews lived, coexisted. When you came, we felt bad for you, even though we don't know you. Like, come in the house. Come here, Habibi, don't worry, come sleep, you'll be okay. Next thing you know, they kick you out your own house. Yeah! Bella Hadid's dad will tell you a personal story, it's not fabrication. Survivors exist. But do you want to know why Joe Biden and them keep supporting Israel? It's blackmail. I personally think it's blackmail. Because he said something. He said, if I go down, we all go down. And his biggest fear is going down. But he will go down. He's just prolonging it. But stop killing babies because your baby shit turned out to be a lie. What sin did these people commit? 
You racist, filthy bitch. You shot your own citizens. You still don't care about your hostages. You bombing left and right. Don't tell me human shields. Seize the fire. We can't seize the fire. We got to fight a terrorist. You're fighting a regular army that is way under capability. You don't need all these plans for it. One. Two, you had 30 days. You bombed the fuck out of Gaza. Look at it from above. It's, it's carpet. You carpet bombed it. Did you get the terrorists? No. All you got was... Let's just establish th these facts because I'm tired of the babies and the, the bullshit. You keep talking about October 7th, we are November 9th. Zero babies, zero civilians. You, you are the bad guy. You always been. The first few days, people were getting fired from their jobs because the West didn't know the truth. But now the whole world can see your bullshit. Now I'm not a bad guy because people can see it themselves. Oh yeah, you bombed the hospital. You blamed it on Hamas. It was disrespectful as fuck. You called them Islamic terrorists bombed themselves. That's the only time you acknowledge the death to the media. Fuck y'all. Yeah. As if these ain't humans. And then we stopped talking about the hospitals, but they didn't stop bombing hospitals. I posted a threat, Red Crescent. Uh, Red, yeah, they got a threat. I posted the threat. Next day, I watched them bomb it. As if that wasn't enough, this last Saturday, they bombed the ambulance and went on a party. There's a TikTok on uh, a trend of them disrespecting us. Niggas kicking people out of their homes and going to partying while we over here suffocating and screaming with no sympathy. This is, this is atrocious. And you got the nerve to come talk about a pause? It's not enough. Because everything they said was a lie. Go back and tell them we need to cease fire now. And if you want a reason to war, he gonna get what he asked for. But Netanyahu, be smart. Actually, no, no, keep keep being arrogant. I wanna see you. I wanna see you out. I'm glad you're arrogant. Let's see how let's see how you feel when you're so arrogant and the US support <laughs> selection season. Joey was already <laughs> Every man for himself. Smash the subscribe button. Share this video because Bill C11 is censoring me. Make sure people understand that these are lies. These are lying filth. They smeared our good reputation and fueled the racist people in the world, emboldened them. I hate it. I hate crimes going up. And people don't acknowledge my side. That's what I hate. It's not fair. How do we go from abolishing slavery to this bullshit? I'm out of here, man. It's my subscriber. Don't. I don't give a fuck. Just know that they were lying. And when you see them perpetrating these lies in the comments, it's a pattern. These accounts are paid agents. He started... Governments, you were always the one to say, if you have nothing to fear, you have nothing to hide, then why are you censoring? Why are you hiding? Why are you constantly doing this bullshit? Let me decide. I'm a grown man. Alhamdulillah, the world can see the truth. You bitch. Yeah, your day is coming. I'm watching my mouth because I'm on YouTube, but... Your day is coming. All of you. Complicit. You got a day coming. And karma's a bitch. See how you thought you got away with the hospitals. The Iron Dome misfired and hit a hospital in, in Israel. That was God. No matter how big you get, you're not bigger than God. God was just trying to prove to you. Don't hide behind Judaism. 
you really believe in God, God didn't say go do genocide. Bitch. Lying filth. I'm fucking pissed. Piss me off every time I talk about him. Filthy motherfucker. Human animal. <laughs>